Uh, ladies and gentlemen, the last uh, we're going to hear from here before we take our break is Josh Hader. Josh is our current treasurer of South Dakota. Uh, what you need to know is last year at our Hour of Reflection, we chose Josh to be our keynote speaker because Josh just gets it. He was also named just recently as the National Treasurer Chairperson for the nation. Let's give it up. Thank you, Dale. I appreciate it. Thank you, guys. Uh, Dale said I stand between you and a break, so I do want to thank you for the one-hour speaking time. I, I'm so excited to cover it. Thank you very much. Well, again, State Treasurer Josh Hader, it's an absolute honor to be with all of you today. And I'm honored to be here because you and I share a, same, uh, a, a goal in common, and that's to protect our unborn children. Now, when I think about an unborn child, I often think about the Declaration of Independence and what it says. It says, we hold these truths to be self-evident, self that all men are created equal, that we are endowed by our creator with certain unalienable rights, that among these are life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. Ladies and gentlemen, when an abortion takes place, we are denying that most basic right of life to our unborn children. Now, you, and all, you all know that unborn babies can feel pain. They can suck their thumb at around 18 weeks. And furthermore, we know that science has proven beyond a shadow of a doubt that human life begins at conception. From the point of conception moving forward, that is a developing, unique, irreplaceable being. It belongs to the human family. And I just want to say that I'm very thankful to President Trump for his courage to appoint justices to the bench who uphold the Constitution. As you all know, give that a round of applause. That is worth a round of applause. <laughs> now listen, we, we've all been applauding that Roe versus Wade has been overturned. As John Hansen said, that is a monumental step. That's a big deal. But as we heard from uh, Representative Hansen, that's not the final step. There's so much more that we need to do. It starts with talking to your legislators, making sure that they understand here in South Dakota that we continue to protect the right to life, and that we be a good example for legislatures around the country. John, I just signed up to volunteer. If you haven't done that yet, go to the website, sign up to volunteer. I look forward to standing up to the pure stupidity that's going to come out of these people who want abortion until birth. That is absolutely ridiculous. Now, as someone who was born about three months early and just over two pounds, I can tell you that I am so very thankful that my parents chose life. And I want to tell you today that I'm always going to support the pro-life movement. Dale, I'm always going to be with you no matter what I do with my life. And I just want to thank you all for the hard work that you put in. Now, speaking of hard work, there's so much more we have to do just this fall. We cannot take this fall's election for granted. We have to step up. We have to pray. We have to volunteer. You need to financially contribute to pro-life candidates. And when you do that, ladies and gentlemen, we are going to win so big this fall and send a message to the Democrats that maybe they won't even bring that stupid petition forward. So with that, I'm running for re-election. I, of course, humbly ask for your support for re-election to state treasurer. Make sure you get out and support pro-life candidates. Thank you all for being here and enjoy your break. God bless and have a good one.